Hey guys, I want to be the first to welcome you to our home box and host of this year's Day of the Dead Rise of Threes competition, CrossFit Catawba Valley. My name is Casey and I'm one of the proud owners of CrossFit Catawba Valley and I will be your primary contact for the upcoming competition. Just a reminder that you can early register for the competition up until September 30th at our registration partner, unbrokenseries.com backslash day of the dead. Also a reminder, this competition will be comprised of three all male or all female teams in both RX, scaled, and 40 plus masters divisions. Going forward, one workout will be released each week until all four workouts have been revealed. Stay tuned to our Facebook event page for the latest post and answers to any questions that may arise. We look forward to seeing you on November 4th. Hey guys, welcome back to CrossFit Catawba Valley. Very exciting day. We're here today to announce WAD 1. WAD 1 is 12 minute EMOM. First minute, athlete one, is 30 seconds to bike max calories. The remaining 30 seconds of their minute, they are allowed a max snatch attempt. At the conclusion of that full minute, athlete two repeats this process. 30 seconds, max bike for calories. 30 seconds, max snatch attempt. The third minute, the third athlete gets his turn. 30 seconds, max bike for calories. 30 seconds, max snatch attempt. This workout is a little different because it comes with two scores. The first score being the total amount of calories accrued during the 12 minute EMOM, four minutes for each athlete. The second score being each athlete's max snatch successful attempt. All the details and briefing will be in the video following. Good luck. Okay, the workout starts with the countdown of three, two, one. Athlete one is then allowed to mount the bike. Athlete one gets 30 seconds to attempt max calories on the bike. At the 30 second mark, the judge will note max calories obtained. The calories will be noted at the 30 second mark. No rollover will be allowed. At the 30 second mark, the calories are noted and the bike will be reset either by the judge or by the other team members. The athlete then moves to the bar, has the remainder of the 30 seconds to attempt one snatch. The snatch may be power, the snatch may be squat. Multiple snatches may be attempted within the minute as long as the snatch is completed and okay by the judge within the one minute time frame. At the turnover of the one minute mark, athlete two then may mount the bike As athlete two works, the two resting athletes are allowed to adjust the weight on the barbell as they see fit. The 30 second whistle, the judge again marks the calories obtained and the bike also needs to be reset. Athlete two has the remaining time to attempt the snatch. The snatch was successful. If completed within the time frame, the athlete is allowed a second attempt as long as the safety collars and weight are in place and the snatch is completed by the one minute attempt. That list was good. The two minute mark, athlete three then mounts the bike and again, bikes for max calories. Important to note, for the scaled divisions, you will be rowing instead of biking. The rules will be, you are allowed to sit on your rower, adjust the foot straps and damper, but not allowed to touch the handle until the call of three, two, one, go. In this example, athlete three will fail the first snatch. She has the remainder of the time. She can stay at that weight, drop weight, or add weight 
as long as she completes the lift within the three minute time frame. This process repeats itself for a total of 12 minutes. In this example, the athlete must perform the snatch inside the 4x8 area. Her feet clearly step outside the 4x8 area, so this is therefore a no rep. In the snatch, the athlete must move the bar in one continuous motion. If the bar is pressed out, once the bar is overhead, that is a good rep. However, as in this example, if the bar is pressed out from below the level of the head, that will be called a no rep. A reminder, any version of the snatch is acceptable, power or squat. Split snatch will also be accepted. However, as in the next example, if the trailing knee touches the floor, it will be a no rep. Also in the following example of a squat snatch, in which case the knee touches the floor, this will also be called a no rep.